make sure your phone, tablet, laptops charged tonight just in case you do lose power tomorrow. Wes, this is probably the last time people are going to get an update before they wake up in the morning, so they're wanting to know what can they expect as they have to head out to work or school or whatnot. Yeah, you know, a lot of ways I feel like we're preparing for a hurricane. What happens when a hurricane comes? We lose power sometimes. Uh, things get a little busy at the grocery stores. That's what we're dealing with tonight. We might lose power tomorrow. This is going to be a significant winter weather event. Here are the three things I want you to know before you go to bed tonight. This is going to be more ice and more people will see ice than what we had on Saturday. Roads could be icy, especially north of Wake County, and that same area could see power outages. And if you don't get in on the freezing rain, consider yourself lucky, kind of. Everyone else will have a cold rain that could amount to one to three inches by the time it's all said and done, and nobody's getting out of the 30s tomorrow. It's going to be a miserable day, and that rain has already pushed into western parts of our state. We're still dry. We're kind of turning over to a forecast to now casting mode, and I would tell you right now, things are probably about two hours behind schedule. We thought things might start off about 2 a.m. It's probably going to be closer to 4 a.m., but that's not really changing the overall outcome of what we're expecting. So all this rain, that's going to move into our area and turn to freezing rain in some spots. The snow this time around is not really in our forecast. So here's what we've got planned for you tomorrow from start to finish. Cloudy skies for sure. We're not going to see an ounce of sunshine tomorrow. The most likely times for the rain and heavy rain, and therefore the freezing rain, will be in the morning. We'll keep it going at a pretty good clip through the early afternoon. There's going to be a lull at some point, late afternoon, early evening, and then kind of a second batch as we get into the late evening. Temperatures, again, don't get out of the 30s. And then on top of all of that, which is enough, right, it's going to be pretty windy out. So an uncomfortable day tomorrow. Here's what it'll look like at 4 a.m. Again, I've delayed it maybe a couple of hours, but no major changes otherwise. So again, freezing rain, 4 a.m. north of Raleigh. We get to about 6 a.m., still some freezing rain, but notice the holes in the radar kind of fill in a little more, and that freezing rain line dips down to in Raleigh. So we're going to get some light freezing rain, but is it going to be enough to create problems on the roads and power outages? Probably not here in Wake County, but as you know, these things fluctuate as they're happening. But north of town, that's where we're going to continue to see some freezing rain through 9 a.m., through lunchtime still freezing rain and then after lunchtime the freezing rain goes away but it's still cold rain for everyone here's that little lull six o'clock tomorrow evening still cloudy then that second batch comes through more heavy rain at 10 o'clock and possibly another batch of freezing rain more rain heavy at times in the overnight hours and then a little bit of rain Friday morning before we finally start to dry out. That's a lot of rain. That's why we have that flash flood watch. But I'm still concerned with everyone here in purple, up to half an inch of ice. That would be significant, causing a lot of problems through the heart of the triangle, maybe up to a quarter of an inch. That's something that won't cause major problems, but something we'll have to watch because, as you know, that could shift overnight. If we get up to a half an inch of ice, that'll break some limbs and trees that will put ice on area roads and result in power outages. That's why it's an alert day tomorrow. Please check on your temperatures and the radar when you wake up in the morning. That's going to tell us a big story. The good news is we dry out this weekend, but it'll still be chilly. 60s with sunshine and dry weather next week.